hashtag new house. So if you followed us on our vlog channel, you would know that we moved houses, and you can tell that we moved houses. It's kind of echoey because we have no furniture. It's coming. So when we moved houses, we did have an entire box of all of our craft supplies, and we didn't really have a good system or way to kind of store it, so we figured we'll know. So this is our DIY craft organization video. I know, because I think the one thing I actually didn't like about our old house is that our craft storage was a mess, an actual mess. It was just things thrown into drawers, so we said when we get a new house, we're gonna organize it well. We've been looking for an apothecary chest because that is a chest with lots of small drawers. It's used for medicinal purposes, or back in back the day, days. it was. <laughs> back in the day, it was. So that's what we got an apothecary chest from Target. Target. It was on sale for like half off. Because now they're considered vintage and they're actually very expensive or very hard to find. So we lucked out big time with this one at Target. Hopefully, it's still there if you wanted to. Yeah, even though. It's not a full apothecary chest. It worked for what we really actually need. So basically we started out with a giant pile of all our craft junk on the floor and it was sitting there for a while so we thought we should do something about it. So the first step to any major organization is to look at what you have and organize it into categories. So the categories that we had were all of our paints, all of our actual crafting tools, some glue, we had a whole bunch of ribbon and different types of paper and then other things as well. Now you look at the space that you have. You might have a built-in unit, you might have a dresser like we did, and we had three small drawers and two large drawers. We took masking tape and a Sharpie and we just kind of planned out roughly what we would want to be in each drawer based on our pile size and what we have. Okay, so our first organizational tip is to use tiny mason jars for smaller things that you might have lying around. So we got these tiny baby mason jars from Target. So to start, you're going to take off the flat metal seal of the jar. And then we're going to lay out the lid and we're going to spray it with chalkboard paint. And this is our first time using sprayable chalkboard paint and we like, liked it a lot. We're going to do a couple thin coats rather than one thick coat because that doesn't work out so well when you're working on spray paint. So once your lids are dry, then you're going to take all your small objects and kind of organize them into categories just like we did for the bigger things. And then we're going to label our lids. So here's a tip, um, it's pretty important that you actually treat your chalkboard paint with chalkboard dust before you actually use it. This will make sure that anything you write on it wipes off easily in the future. Okay, so our next organizational tip are these drawer inserts. So to start, you're going to need to measure the size of your drawers. And then using some craft paper, we use those measurements to draw out the shape of our drawers. Next, you're going to take all your items that you want in that drawer and plan out where they're going to go. And then you can draw lines representing what dividers you're going to need for that insert. So now we're going to take some wood. We went to Home Depot. We went to a couple different places and they're kind of called something different everywhere. But head to your wood aisle and look for the thinnest, longest piece of wood you can find. We're gonna lay the wood onto our template and we're just gonna use a pencil to mark out how long it is. And pro tip, before we start cutting, we're gonna to have to minus um, the width of the wood from two of the sides, otherwise it's gonna to be too big for your drawer. Then we're gonna cut the wood using a small hacksaw and you can just do this by putting it up on two bigger pieces of wood or we had boxes, so we use those. So once all your pieces have been cut, we lay them on top of the template where everything is supposed to go. And just using some normal wood glue, we glue them together. And then make sure to use masking tape to hold it into place while it dries. It should take about half an hour to an hour to dry completely. So we decided that when it came to our glue and sticky items drawer, we didn't really need any dividers in it because everything fits snug together. Our ribbon drawer was a little bit more complex, so this is how we laid it out. And we decided to add three rows of ribbon wraps to hold our ribbon which we marked out on our template. Here's our dry design. So to add the ribbon racks, we measured out pieces of wood about three inches high, which would stand vertical on the organizers. Then we used three quarter inch C hooks and screwed them into the sides, part of the way down, making sure they were even. Next we're gonna glue all six of our C hook wooden pieces onto our main drawer insert, just where we marked it out on our template. And make sure that you're gluing it with the hooks facing upwards. Next, we're gonna take some wooden doweling that fits in the hooks, so you can kind of remove it in and out if you wanna use your ribbon. Then we're gonna mark a line to cut it just a little bit past the edge of the hooks, and you can cut that with our hacksaw. And then we're going to string on our ribbon rolls, and you can set them into place. We left a row for washi tape, and we made it a little bit smaller just because the washi tape is smaller than the rest of our ribbon. So the very last step is to put our drawer inserts into the drawers. Insert the inserts. 
Insert the answer. <laughs> so we just did this one by one and we referenced photos that we took when we first laid out what we were going to put in our drawers. Mm -hmm. And then put everything into its own little space. Right.